Welcome to techup.com your solution providers. This is Abhishek and today we're going to be using the book module in Lightroom. So the Lightroom actually has a lot of features that the Photoshop actually lacks and these features include all these various functions uh, like the book module, the slideshow module and the print module that uh, gives professional photographers and printers a very wide uh, variety of ranges and other operations to operate on a picture. For example, we can create a book uh, from the book module and this requires to just select a bunch of pictures. For example, uh, for the first thing we have to do uh, to start making a book in order to uh, print it is make a collection of pictures. So first of all, we're going to just uh, select some random pictures, uh, the one that are finished and ready to edit. And once we are uh, done selecting the images, then we just have to go to the collection over here and click on this plus sign and create a new collection. We can name it whatever we want and then click create. For example, in this best of tour collection of mine, uh, we have selected 18 images. Now just what we have to do is click on the book module over here. And so this actually gives us a pre-existing catalog of photographs that we selected. First, we're going to close this sidebar and this film strip. And as you can see, uh, we have selected all the images in our collection. That's why it shows one and two symbols over here. The one and uh, the two symbols are actually the cover uh, pictures, and the rest are the pages of the picture. We can decrease the th size of the thumbnail if we want to. Now, as you can see, uh, this gives us a pretty great and normal composition of all our uh, the features that we had and as you can see uh, the first and as you can see the first part in the book settings is the uh, number of options that we have uh, from how we want to uh, print our book we can use the blurb which is an online photo that prints books and other materials and we can also save it that as a pdf or as separate jpg files so we're gonna choose blurb for now and then as you can see uh, we can choose a standard landscape size if we are printing a book that consists mainly of landscape which is what in this case and then we can select cover and I'm gonna choose soft cover here and the paper type to be premium luster if we want a great uh, paper quality or premium matte or any other that we want premium matte can be selected if we want a uh, little less paper quality but like for business or other catalog purposes and we're gonna keep the page logo on or off it doesn't depends uh, and then we can come here on the page layout and as you can see uh, this has a preset of left blank right one photo as you can see in this layout over here uh, we can also create our new page layout too and as you can see this gives us option for our left and right pages we want to leave the left page blank and for the right page we're going to choose fixed layout and as you can see this gives us various options that we want to manage or uh, obtain uh, with our photo for example we can choose from one photo two photo three photo or any other multiple photos which gives us a collage of various images and and furthermore we can select any of the following layout that we want for our image for now we're gonna just select one photo and we can select any of these layouts and we wanna make sure that we get some text along with the photograph so we wanna choose any one normal preset from the following and then uh, click on add photo text which simply tells the Lightroom to add any previous metadata that was uh, there with the original photo and it can be used as photo text in our photo book and we can uh, define the style too and let's select captions answer for that and for the uh, zoom photo too we can uh, either fit or fill the screen if we want to for now just click fit and press save and we can name this preset anything we want 
we can name it left blank right pick text and as you can see this gives us our new preset left blank right pick and text and to execute this preset we're gonna click clear layout and then press auto layout and the Lightroom will then prepare all our images according to the text that we wanted now we can change any page or delete any page or select any particular image as you can see this gives us our photo text along with other options of the image we can toggle any view that we want we can take the grid view we can take the two page view to select uh, view particular two pages along with each other or we can select a particular picture and have the single view to change cover front back or any other picture we simply have to drag click and drag the image and if we drag from one image to another the Lightroom by default understands that we want to swap the picture and as you can see this is our front and back cover we can view this any way that we want and we can further modify our front and back cover with any other cover format that we have here and I think we can choose this too because this gives us a text box in the front cover as well as the back cover over here and as you can see this has fitted our image with the background in the page layout so we can simply drag our image in order to adjust any particular point or scene that we want and we can simply add text to by clicking in the box over here and typing whatever we want now since I want to increase the text size I'm gonna select all the text size over here and then go to type and increase the text size to something about 80 or 90 whatever I want and as you can see this is not pretty much visible on the background so we're gonna change the selection to something in contrast with the background we can change it to whatever we want it's all up to us I'm gonna decrease the size and add another text then we're gonna press enter and we can go to our grid selection again and as you can see this gives us our basic layout of the uh, book that we want to create and we can further save our book by cl clicking on create saved book over here naming this book as best of tour for our future reference and we can make sure that uh, we choose the location to be inside best of toe and then click create and this is gonna save our best of tour book in our best of tour collection preset so that was using book model in lightroom thanks for watching please like and subscribe